In modern studio recording, there's often a need to edit multiple mic'd instrument tracks at the same time. Until now, this has always been a huge pain, but not anymore with the new group editing feature we have in Cubase 6. Here's an example of a situation where multiple recording tracks come in handy. This is a typical live off the floor recording of a high gain amplifier using two different mics. The first thing we notice is that there is bleed from the drums into the guitar mics. While this isn't always avoidable, adding one more track could save the day. Allow me to explain. So now we're set up with our two original amp mics and our newly added DI track. By adding a direct box to the guitar, I'm able to record the preamplified signal of the guitar with no bleed from the drums. This way, I can choose the guitar amp sound that I want later by using the all new VST amp rack. This feature is a producer's dream. Being able to make amp and cabinet decisions and more at the mix stage? Come on. We'll cover this fully in chapter 34. For now, let's re record with the click track instead of drums. And let's make sure the monitor button isn't on because most guitar players don't like hearing dry signal while they're playing through distortion. From this point on, what we would usually do is follow a series of steps to organize our tracks together. First, you would create a folder on the project page. Then you would multi-select your tracks. Then you would drag them into the folder. And you know what, this was pretty cool at the time. We could easily cut, erase, and copy all of the tracks in the folder at the same time. But what about fade-ins and fade-outs? What about crossfades and offsetting parts? For this, unfortunately, you would have to go below the tracks, ignoring the folder, and selecting all of the parts each time we had to do something. Each time we wanted to resize a part, we had to select all of them. Each time we cut a part, we had to select all of them. And each time we had to erase, copy, move, fade, crossfade, you guessed it, we had to select all of the tracks. It might not seem like a lot of work here, but when you were chopping up a five minute song, all of this reselecting was a time consuming and tedious process. While you could copy, cut, and move tracks in a folder, you still couldn't do everything you wanted. Well, now you can with the new group editing features in Cubase 6. Let's find out how to do this with the example project for this chapter. While the new group editing feature is extremely easy to use, there are a couple little details that might throw you for a loop if you're not aware of them. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Select all three tracks on the project page by Control, Command, or Shift clicking on the desired tracks. Next, right click on the tracks and choose Move Selected Tracks to New Folder. Now click on what looks like an equal sign here in the top left corner. This enables the new group editing feature for all of the group tracks in the folder. And now you're done. Oops, I guess I spoke too soon. It looks like we have a problem. Apparently the tracks in this folder are not completely in sync. And Cubase is warning me before I go ahead and make a mess of things. Remember, this feature is for similar tracks, i.e. multiple mic drum kits, amps, etc., and is not meant to combine different tracks from different sessions. Let's see what went wrong. Well, looking at this, we see a variation or drift in the direct track. But these were recorded at the same time, so it can't be that. Let's keep looking. And there's the culprit. I must have accidentally nudged the file at some point and it was enough of a difference to make Cubase warn me before I made a bunch of edits that weren't going to work. Thanks Cubase. We'll nudge this back and presto, we're ready to go. If I deselect and reselect the group editing button, it will warn me again if there is a problem. Now we're ready to start group editing. 
Start cutting with the scissor tool on any one of the tracks and watch them all get affected. Wait a minute, what's this now? Only one of my cuts was applied to the other tracks. Maybe it's because I have the snap to zero crossing on. I guess that makes sense since I'm telling Cubase to only cut when the waveform is neutral and the odds of that lining up perfectly on separate tracks is astronomical. Touche Cubase, touche. Let's turn snapping off and undo our cuts. I promise this is the last roadblock. Now when you edit any one of the tracks, all of them are affected. See how much easier this is than the old way of group editing? Now check this out. When I'm done editing, I can easily select six parts with a simple click, hit X on my keyboard, and crossfade the events for a seamless transition between all of the tracks. Moving crossfades is now easy, applying offset is now easy, and of course, fade in and fade out are a breeze. If after editing, we're unhappy with the tone that we have, we can mute the amp tracks and unmute our newly edited direct track for processing in the VST amp rack. Or you can combine both if you really want a crazy tone. We'll cover the VST amp rack fully in this level, but for now, let's check out our work. Group editing. I love it.